Right, what we got to do today? Four bags, because we've all got cracks and a bit of cord light coming out of So four bags, two shockers, an air leak, uh, and whatever else I find, innit? Whatever we find really on our little travels. Right, let's get to it. Let's get to it, Prince, let's get to it, Prince. I need some tools then, don't I? These scan your airbags ever so good. 24mm nut at the bottom. On top, you've just got a little oil clip where you pull out. <laughs> Easy. Just got to jack your chassis up, take the weight off the bags. There she flies. Ooh, they are crap. I've just jacked it up, took the weight off the bags, so there's no air in the bags now. We shall get them 24mm off. Obviously, I'm changing all four bags, so I'm going to crack on. I'm going to take off all the four of them. Because I'm greedy like that. Yeah, well, as we just said, Chris, don't you mind people watching you work? Because I'd hate it. I'd hate to be watched while I'm at work. I said, eh, man, I couldn't give a fuck, really. I'm not really bothered. I says, uh, you, you get to learn stuff anyway. Like last night, uh, yesterday, me and our Archie, we uh, took that sump off the Merc with him. Changing the sump on the Merc. And I couldn't go it out because the cross member was in the way. So uh, we took off the cross member and got it out. But what have I said on the comments? If you just jack your chassis up, the space between your axle and your engine gets uh, gets wider, you're able to carry it out. I thought, now nah, that, you see, that's good advice, that is, isn't it? I could have saved myself a lot of time by just knowing that. As soon as, well, the time Mr. Like, read me the comment out, and I said, well, yeah. Why didn't I think of that? That's exactly right. What was I doing? Well, they are, you see, you get to learn stuff, don't you? I don't mind. Right. Well, I like a bit of advice. Terry gone there. Come on, Terry. I ain't got me mate with me today, me out like with me, have I? He wanted to come, but this place obviously I think he's not allowed everywhere I go. Wish he was. And he wishes he wasn't all. He says if you get a breakdown around dad, come pick me up. He says, yeah, we'll do that. Don't pack my that. Oh right, cheers for the nice comments guys and all, thank you very much. Much obliged, we like a few nice comments. Our missus uh, reads them out like most of us. I, I ain't had a chance to let, I ain't had a chance to have a look at them lately. Uh, but I will get a chance to look at them and I'll try and reply if I can. What are we doing now? Oh yeah, taking these, back, uh, taking these pipes off the top. I'll show you the. You've got two R clips there to remove. And then we've got the old famous walrus fitting there, look. Raw, rawfus fitting, not walrus. Not why I said walrus. Rufus, Rawfus, Rawfus. What's it called? What is it called? Rawfus. I did a YouTube thing on this uh, ages ago, years ago, because when I first come across these, I thought, how the hell do I get these off? And I didn't know, and I YouTubed it, and nobody really on there explained how you get it off. So uh, I figured it out by myself, and I did a YouTube video of it instead. See? I'm helpful like that. Yeah, how you do get them off is you get your circuit ties in and just spread them two pins apart. I'll show you, look. Right, you get your little circuit pliers in them two little holes there and there. He says, there and there, look. Spread them apart. And it don't come off. See, that's simple. You get your little circuit pliers in there like that. Spread them apart. And it don't come off again. <laughs> Fucking shit, ain't they? Roy here, he's got the proper circlet pliers lot. Uh, proper, proper tool for the job lot. It goes in deeper. That's why I struggle with my circlet pliers because they only win a slight little bit, and then it fucks up the plastic around these end bit here. It was tight, but. Done the job. Look, and you, look at that, look, when you spread it apart, you're just pulling them two wings either side. They're what pinch around that collar. And then we've got these two R clips to take off. Mm 
One down, three to go. There we go. Still quite tight there, that was. I just thought to myself, I'm struggling like fuck getting this off. This is what happens in real world life, you see. A how to on how to take these off. It, it's all right fucking having it on a bench, in it, and pulling them apart, and we're not that's how, not that's how you get them off, look. Every time I look at someone's like that, I think, oh, it's never that easy. How can I do it? It's always hard. <laughs> uh, I've just been fucking around with this, trying to get this off, and I'm thinking, I'm there and there, trying to get into it, and I thought to myself, why don't I just take the bag off, and, like, take the top pins out, and just lower the bag down, so then I can get through it easier. That would be a better idea, Chris, wouldn't it? Silly boy! This is what you're up against in the real world, look. Look that, look. Hey? It's not all lovely and clean, is it? Not like in the demonstration, it was lovely and clean. And look at mine. Oh. I didn't think it was gonna be like that. <laughs> there's the fake world, and then there's the real world, isn't there? Where it's covered in shit and everything's oiled up and greased up and seized. <laughs> Come on, let's get it off. Yeah. I don't know whether you can see this or not. Freaking crap they aren't they? See? And that's in the real world, isn't it? We're in the real world now, aren't we? At least it's off. It was a bit of a job, but it's off. Got that one to do now. That's covered in fifth wheel grease as well. Yippee! I'm going to tackle this one from above, I think. Right, I'm bored of it now. I'm just going to snip this pipe here uh, and do it down there because I'm sick of struggling. You can be faffing with something forever in a day, can't you? Hey. Now I can play with it down here, can't I? Where I can actually get at it. You've wasted enough of my time, Mr. Rawfus Fitting. And you're not wasting any more of it, are you? Still tight though, wasn't it? Look at all the shit in there, look. Look. All that crap all in it. Right, get whizzed up. I thought that was falling on me then. Right, well, I'm going to go upstairs, put the other clip in. I'm going to do all four like that, and then just fill it up with air here with your raised lower valve, and it will push this piston down so you can line them up, all four of them at once. Line them all up nicely. Down. Beautiful. This lot, the other ring was baggies out on there, and that one was splitting off. Uh, so, luckily, I've got two new O-wings, the different sizes, look. One's biggie one that goes at the bottom, and one's a little one that goes at the top. I've got to join that pipe up now. Right, just push them down a bit, look, so now I can uh, put them in. And then I'll lower the chassis down and put the, the bottom, that one in. We've got a little centering peg and all in these. I'll show you. Can you see that there, look? There's the peg that goes into there. But it's all lines up anyway, like, so. It's all right. Right, tighten these two up onto the shock absorbers. Oh, the crap started today. I didn't start till dinner time because uh, my phone's been playing up for some reason. I'm, it's not, I don't know whether, I miss it might because my storage is full in that all the time, but. I think it needs an update as well for my phone. So I was twatting around that all morning. So we had a bad start to the day, really. But never mind. I've only got the shockers to change, then we're done anyway. While it's got a bit of pressure on it, I'm just going to try and pull these up. Like that, look. That one's leaking. So it might need some O-rings in that. We'll have to take that one off. 
try these middles. Lads, I can't actually believe it. I've reached 6k subs. And that's just in the past three days because when I was with the lads, I was at 5k. And that was on Bank Holiday Monday. So in three days, I've gained a thousand subs. Jesus Christ, it's fucking hell. YouTube just must be pumping my content down to everyone. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, I've got that job off now because the lads at the yard want to uh, want to lock up. Uh, I wanted to get that done, really, but I didn't. I had a late start. I didn't start till after dinner time. Twatted about my phone all morning, but then twatting around with them stupid, stupid, stupid plastic fittings. Hey, <laughs> gee, if there's a brass fitting, you'd literally just take it off, just unscrew it. Bloody fittings. Never mind. Uh, yeah, so I'll just have to carry them up with that tomorrow, won't I? What don't get done today will get done tomorrow. But what don't get done tomorrow won't get done tomorrow. That'll get done then the day after tomorrow. And then if you still don't do it, it just snowballs. And so you've got thousands of jobs to do on one specific day tomorrow. <laughs> right, catch you in a bit, guys. See you later. Catch you tomorrow. Woohoo! 6K! This is smooth radio. Spoiled the last bit. Frickin' interrupted it. And you let her go. Come on. Spoiled it then, he did. Come on.